This is a K-Star NPF980 replacement battery. Um, you'll typically be replacing a Sony camcorder battery with this. I received this from the Amazon Vine Voice Review Program to review for free. If you wanted to purchase it, it would cost you $27. They have not paid me for my review, and my opinions are my own. So in the box, you receive one battery with this little protective cover. And this battery has extra features in that you can charge it with a USB port. So there's a little opening here, which is a USB-C opening, and they include a USB-A to C cable that you can plug in there and charge the battery. Um, out of the box, it comes with three or four dots charged. And it also has on this side over here another little tabbed opening. And this guy here is a USB-A port. So you can actually use this like a battery bank to charge anything that will plug into a USB-A um, port here. So it's labeled as 2.1 amps output. So in addition to plugging into your equipment and running your equipment, you could use this to charge a cell phone, for example. So I'm going to charge this guy up and we'll see how well it works. So I have this guy plugged into a USB-C power delivery source. And it is taking 5 volts at 2.5 amps. So that is approximately 13 watts. So it does not negotiate a higher USB power delivery rate, so the voltage doesn't go up, but it does draw a respectable 2.5 amps. Now the sticker on this battery says 8.7 amp hours, which is 64.4 watt hours. So at 13 watts charging, it would take a while to fill this guy completely up using the USB port. All right, this guy's fully charged. It's drawing zero amps. So I'm using this battery, not with a camcorder, but with a video light. And so it just plugs into the back of this light, snaps in place, And that makes this light remote operable, battery powered. Um, and so this light says 24 watts. The battery says 68 watt hours of capacity. So I would expect to get two to three hours of usage out of this. So we're going to leave this turned on. We'll um, run the battery all the way down. And then afterwards, we'll charge it back up and keep track of how much power it takes to charge this guy back up. All right, this light has gone out. We will take the battery, charge it up, and see how many watt hours it takes to charge this guy. All right, this is charged up overnight. It took a total of 70 watt hours. Um, so the total capacity of the battery, given charging inefficiencies, is somewhere less than 70 watt hours.